Hello, we are Team Triton. I am Alden. Hello, I'm Sophie. I'm Micah. I'm Connor. Hi, I'm Hunter. We decided to build an app that's called Filler Word Detector. This is an app that identifies words that are considered to be filler in a speech or presentation that, that you are going to give. The filler word detector app can be useful to anyone who has issues with their ability to effectively give a speech or presentation without the use of unnecessary filler words, such as like and um. <clears throat> the use of our app can help users eliminate those words from their speeches and presentations. Our app keeps an account of words considered to be filler words, and records and stores this data. The data then can be viewed by the user who can assess their results, which can help them improve on their performance or improve their performance on presentations. Our app is pretty simple to use. The user can either upload their recordings that they already have in a .wav format or record themselves from the web app. These uploads can be viewed in the list of recordings where the user can click on the recording they choose and transcribe it with the filler word words being highlighted. The user can also go to the trends page, which tells the user how many recordings they have and how many times they have used each filler words to see which ones they need to keep eliminating from their vocabulary. Without our web app, my speech teacher in high school would keep a running tally of filler words that we used and deduct points from our final grade. It was hard to practice my speeches alone to prepare for my tests. I used to have to record myself and listen to the speech in full to hear each time I used a forbidden filler word. The current method pushed by most is to just practice and avoid using filler words, which is not very helpful. It is much easier to practice when you're aware of what your prior mistakes were. Analyzing speeches give users more insight on what they present to their audiences. We also want our users to develop proficient language skills and increase awarenesses of their speech. The increase in awareness first comes from understanding of filler words. If someone can eliminate the words they constantly repeat, then they can improve the flow of the presentation. We can turn weaknesses into strengths with this app by giving people insight to their filler words on their presentations. Yeah, we built our apps framework using Django. We built it in an Anaconda virtual environment. This allowed us to play around with how we created our models in an easy and quick way. Our app was probably built in Python and a bit of HTML. This was, this was our first time working with Django, and for some of us, our first time working with Python and HTML, in particular me. I haven't worked with Python or HTML before. Moving on so to the demo. To, oh, shit. So now to move on to the demo, we're going to act like we are a new user who's trying to use our web app. So first we're going to register, um, entering a new username, email, and password. So we're gonna put Sarah and a random email, Sarah at Hotmail, and a password for that. And after confirming the password, all you have to do is hit register and this new user is created. Um, but instead of using this user, uh, we're just going to log out since this recording list is completely empty. Um, and we're going to log in with one of our previously used um, users named Todd. And Todd actually has a whole list of recordings, as you can see here. But let's go back to the home page, um, which can be used by this menu on the left side. And the home page actually has a detailed description of the fill filler word detector and what it does, um, as well as who the creators of the web app are. So this is where you come um, when you first um, enter the app. Second um, on the list for the menu is recordings, and this is the list of recordings um, for your account. So Todd has a lot of recordings, and you can delete um, or check on one of the files. So let's click on test or Sophie. And this actually shows each file. And when you transcribe by clicking transcribe, it'll actually show you the transcription of the audio file. And to make a recording get uploaded to this list, all we have to do is go over to upload and we can put a name for whatever we want and choose the file from our uh, computer. 
After choosing the file, we can click Submit, and this actually sends us straight to the recording list where you can see Test for Demo. And there you go. When we transcribe it, it actually gives us the new transcription. So let's say you wanted to record one of these files in the actual app. We have a recording studio. Um, and if you type in a name and click record, you can actually um, record a new file. So Sophie's going to record a new file for us. Hello, welcome to our demo. I'm very nervous. I hope this goes well. Um, we really enjoy working on this project. And after you click stop, you have the option to upload by clicking upload. And this will send this recording to the recordings list. Um, so we're going to transcribe this file and you can see how the app works. Um, so next we can show the history tab and this history tab just has all of the files um, that have ever been recorded. And in trends, we get the actual um, use of this app, which tells us where you have said each of these words in your transcriptions. And finally, if you wanna change your password, you can come to the user settings and change your old password to a new password just by hitting save settings. And there you go. When you log out, um, it sends you back to this main screen. Thank you. And you can't access any of your other things. Thank you. Thank you for listening to our demo. Thank you.